Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier, and uh, basically I've had about, uh, a, well, a whole night to fly around in the Vanguard and test it out, and um, I do have to acknowledge that there is a problem with the Vanguard, uh, and the problem really is it's two-sided. The Vanguard is too maneuverable, and it's a little too dominant with, uh, you know, the the smaller class of fighters, you know, the Saber, the Super Hornet, and down all the way down to the Aurora. It's just got a little too much firepower and maneuverability and resiliency for that area. Now, at the same time, if you dial that maneuverability down, then what you end up with is a big pinata, basically, for all those lighter ships. And so, really, what you kind of want to do is you want to create an area where people who have smaller ships, smaller fighters, and all the variety of, of those ships really feel that uh, you know they're getting a fair shake at gameplay and at combat in the Star Citizen universe, but at the same time, you still want to preserve the value of the Vanguard. And more to the point with the Vanguard, when you really look at the Vanguard's armament compared to ships like the Redeemer, it's just not up there, especially with all the options that come with the Redeemer. I mean, the Redeemer can carry assault troops. It has, you know, it has turrets on both sides of it. It's 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 got better coverage. It just seems like more ship for the same amount of money. And really, the Vanguard's armaments seem more in tune with, say, a Freelancer Miss, which is you know roughly about eighty-five dollars less than the Vanguard. So. I think the Vanguard really needs to bring something to the battlefield that, you know, the Redeemer and the Freelancer Miss can't, but at the same time not be so great that it would dominate those ships and still give smaller ships, like basically light fighters, a fair shake at the game and a fair chance in combat. And so what I think that what should be done with the Vanguard is um, obviously maneuverability dialed down. And uh, the weapon systems on the Vanguard, apart from the fact that, you know, obviously we've got these strange exclusive guns on the nose, which I think should be changed. I think it should be opened up to just about any kind of size 2 gun that you want to stick there, fixed, you should be able to put on there. And, you know, the size 5, obviously the option for a size 5 fixed or a size 4 gimbaled should be preserved. But what I think should be done with the Vanguard is the Vanguard speed should be dialed up. And I don't mean just like 220, 240 meters a second. I'm talking 260 meters a second, probably minimum. Now, along with a maneuverability nerf and the fact that its guns are fixed, or a large portion of its guns are fixed, it's going to make it a very difficult for a Vanguard, especially coming in at that speed, to target a lighter fighter. So it's not going to be game-breakingly dominant over those lighter fighters. They're going to have a problem catching up to it, but at the same time, it's going to have a problem targeting them. So it kind of puts them in a performance envelope that's exclusive to the other. They can take pot shots at each other, but to really to what avail, to what profit could they really, is it really worth the effort? Probably not. It just kind of puts them in a zone where you're doing your thing, I'm doing my thing. We can, you know, we can possibly take shots at each other, but really, it, it's it's not going to be something that is just so game breakingly overpowered to those lighter ships that it kind of discourages their use. And I mean, really, all these lighter ships are really going to be what kind of populates the Star Citizen universe and makes it like a living, breathing space, having all these varieties of all these ships around. And when you have a ship that just kind of dominates those lower ships, it really discourages their use. And so I think overall it would kind of erode at the, at the, at the immersive experience of Star Citizen for everyone in general to have a ship that just so strongly dominates. But at the same time, like if you take its speed up, you kind of put it into a place versus heavier ships where the heavier ships don't have that speed but they might have more firepower or more initial shielding with larger shields whereas the vanguard shields are smaller but it has a wicked speed advantage over them so that it can make kind of like these high speed passes they can shoot at it it can shoot at them it doesn't have enough firepower that it can take one of them in a single pass but they have maybe 
enough firepower to maybe kind of damage it a little bit, but is it really enough to slow it down to the point where they can take it on? So it kind of just makes flying the Vanguard more a question of skill, more a question of, you know, keeping your momentum up, making your high-speed passes, and then once you've kind of made your pass, kind of stepping away a little bit, assessing the situation, are you targeting the right target, are you doing the right things, and then maybe making another pass. And so it, it just kind of makes it more of a duel and less of a whoever has the most firepower wins type situation. You know, kind of... Uh, it makes it more a question of skill and not just a straight up question of I have X amount of size five guns, you have X amount of size four guns. This is how it should pan out. It just makes it more a question of skill and not just a question of just hard stats versus hard stats. And I think doing this with the Vanguard, it really gives the Vanguard a defined role. And I mean a role that suits the Vanguard in terms of like the hugeness of the engines on the Vanguard, it, 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 it would make sense for it to be fast. It would make sense for it to be a high-speed fighter. And I just, I think that this solution would kind of put the Vanguard where, as a Vanguard owner, where I would want to be. And probably other Vanguard owners would probably feel the same way. It has a defined role. It has a place in the Star Citizen universe and against other ships, you know, of its, you know, I wouldn't say of its class, but of its size, you know, its other, you know, brethren up there, but still doesn't put it at a point where the ships that are lower than it in terms of size or in, in terms of weaponry don't feel that, you know, this ship kind of impacts their gameplay in a very negative way. And I think it's just, this would be kind of like a much more fair and balanced solution that would still give the Vanguard a very fun niche very fun gameplay and still keep it fair and balanced for everyone and still giving the vanguard owners value for the money pledged into the game anyways that's my suggestion for uh how to fix the vanguard and uh i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching